How many have seen the TV series CSI, Crime Scene Investigation? Now there's a new version of CSI, Cow Side Investigation. Our second CSI session is Betting and the Use of Betting in Stalls. So here's your first CSI question. What do you see here in this slatted floor barn? There are two types of bedding used in this barn determines where the cows lay in. Stalls on the left are bedded with shredded coconut hulls and lime, while the cows on the right are bedded with one part straw, one part, two parts lime, and five parts water, mixed in a vertical mixer for a half hour and then put in the stalls. If you look really closely, all the cows are laying on the right which tells me that they like the bedding they have on the right. You also notice the cows on the right, there's a cow in every other stall, which we'll talk about later when we come to stall dimensions. How often do we brush and groom the back of the stalls? How often do we add bedding to the stalls? Once we have tilled the bedding pack, we have a special designed wood shaving shooter that allows a thin layer of bedding to be put on the entire width of the barn so that all cows have a clean, dry surface to lay in. Why do these cows in this barn look like this? Why do the knees look like this? Let's look at this video. I'm betting. If we do not have enough sand in front of the stalls to act as brisket locators to position the cows, then she tends to lay too far forward in the stall and she has to crawl backwards to get up to avoid pain from the neck rail. Way to solve that problem, this dairyman adds sand just once a year. Unfortunately, there's no room for the cows to lay down, so they don't use the stalls. Once sand is added, this dairyman uses a tool out in the stalls to groom the stalls so they have a nice, even bed to lay down. What do you see in this video? <laughs> Without a brisket locator, this cow is too far forward, and so when she gets up, she disrupts three other cows that are laying down. Remember, we want the cows to be laying down, not standing up. A way to solve that problem is to add a deterrent strap, not a steel cable. This will reduce the number of cows walking through the stalls and disrupting other cows. So remember, add bedding often, clean and groom stalls on a regular basis, and always do what's best for me. Thank you.